What's up, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome to Let's Play Animal Crossing for you. It is finally freaking February 1st. Holy crap, it is a new month, and everything is wonderful. Triceratops Skull, I believe we had that, do we? Stegosaurus Torso, we definitely have that, since Stegosaurus is the only dust we've actually completed. Triceratops Tail, oh, cool, two Ceratops Thesis. Which is great. So that means maybe we can actually, you know, donate some stuff finally. And by donate, I mean to the museum. The museum? Let's pick this crap up. I actually have a surprise today, guys. Oh boy, what could that mystery be? Mm -hmm. Well, you shall have to wait a moment and see. But first off, we're gonna first see if anyone's moved. Doesn't look like it. Mm, nope. That's my eyes deceive me. And two trees have grown. Where's the third? Oh, the third one's right there. It has died. Rest in peace, my little fish. Mr. Fishy. How very fishy of you. If you know what I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying? I hope not, because I don't know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying and I don't know what I'm saying, that probably makes me insane. <laughs> and those trees are growing up to be great trees. Uh, but it's, since it's the new beginning of the month, we now have some new fish to catch, maybe? Actually, let's see if that's true. Holy crap, that retro TV is freaking obnoxious. Hold on, I'm just pulling up my very professional notes. Um, why do I only have March on? Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. Ignore, ignore my pitter patter. Mm. Okay, for for the month of February. Oh, there's absolutely nothing new. Well, never mind then. That was stupid. <laughs> okay, so starting next month is actually when. Oh, I'm not selling that. Screw that. I love the Mario trophy. Mario. Okay, I hope I'm not being stupid and selling something I actually need. Snappy print. Get out of here! All of you be gone! Look at all that moolahs. Holy balonies. All the monies. Yeah, unfortunately there's no new fish or bugs to catch, which kinda sucks because, I mean, we've pretty much caught all that we can. Well, that's not entirely true. Actually, we're missing like four or five fish still, which is kind of a lot. But at the same time, I don't know how, how accurate my guide is that I've been looking at. Since there's been a bug that says you can catch in winter, however, it's a pretty common bug and I haven't seen it once. And it's a, uh, called a bag worm, if, you know, if you're familiar. Where, um, if you shake a tree, uh, occasionally, like, a little... It's a little, like, almost like a caterpillar thing will, like, fall out and it'll be, like, attached to a string. But I haven't seen that once and those are pretty common, so there's no reason I should have seen that. We got a fuzzle! How do you not see, copper? Someone bury that there, clearly, or it just got pushed up from the bottom of the earth, one of the two. And I'm a buzzing bee? Well, today's mail for Sahara. <laughs> Great. Perfect. February 3rd. So, <gasps> tomorrow is Groundhog's Day, which is the first holiday event, the first actual holiday event we'll be participating in. Which will be fantastic, Kamo. When it actually happens. When will it happen? Tomorrow. So, I'm going to actually have to get up. Um... The board. Oh, what the hell, Rasher? Why are you here? You scared me. I didn't expect anyone to. No, I want you. I'm telling you for the last time, you foul creature. Go away, swine. Wait, it's you, just you. That was another one of those weirdos handing out tissues, swine. Okay, so then, swine, why are you here? I was talking to Crazy Red the other day. He really turned me on to the idea of running my own business. So, how's this? I'll tell you the names of the prices of fire, fear, and sure pieces. I don't know. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to buy. But! If you don't make your choice by the time we get to the fifth piece, you're buying it whether you like it or not. Now that's business, let's get started. Hello there, customer. Welcome to my humble store. You're looking quite well. Please look at my wares. Here's the first uh, piece. A mossy stone for 120 bells. What a bargain! Actually, that is pretty good. But, let's see what else he has to offer. Oh, okay. No problem. How about this, then? I'll present the second piece. It's a cabin low table for 2,770 bells. What an incredible deal! Oh, really? Hmm. How about this one then? Behold, the third piece. It's a lady palm for 1,990 bells. Incredible! How could I possibly make a profit after offering low, low prices? Hmm, well, it's your loss. Time out! Listen, Chris, you're taking this seriously. You're not just screwing around here, are you? If you don't buy the next one, you're gonna be buying the fifth piece whether you like it or not. Do you understand? Are you reading my lips? Okay, now we're straight. How about this one? The irresistible fourth piece. It's an orange chair for 1,000. Screw it. Let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm risking it all. <laughs> Well, alright then, but you know what this means, you'll be purchasing the fifth piece completely blind. That's the way it goes, I don't want to hear any complaints from you, okay? I'll sell you this Irish chair for 1,520 bells. That's not too bad. I was mostly worried that he would take all of my money away. Thank you, come again. Never, Rasher. Never. See, wasn't that actually, like, that was, that was fun, though. Like, I love these little games animals and villagers play with you. Like, that doesn't really happen in any of the other Animal Crossing games. They do, but it's on a much smaller scale, which is kind of a silly little hilly-billy. 
All right, so Triceratops. What have you done for the Triceratops? Is this Triceratops? Oh, oh so we're about to freaking complete the freaking Triceratops. Why do I say freaking so much? I don't, that's not a word I say ever in real life. I say fucking. <laughs> so why am I censoring myself? Who knows? Maybe it's because I'm like, Mr. Sensor guy or something. Anyways, let's go over here and talk to Mr. Blathers. And let's hopefully he'll not blather to us for too long. Pfft. I get the feeling that that's kind of the point of his character to blather on for too long and like annoy you, but I kind of like his little pitter patter he does. Eh, try to There, skull. The skull. Skullator. Hey, who I say? A Triceratops skull. Well, now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe this means Triceratops is complete. Hooey. Er, did I just say hooey? Ugh. How terribly embarrassing. That's not like some blithering idiot. Let's move on, shall we? Here now, where to begin? Triceratops. Yes. Remember, you have the. Oh god. Oh, or, or this skin order, this great beast flourished in the late Cretaceous period. There's a huge three hole plant eater and grew up to 30 feet in length. That's 9 meters. Truly remarkable. Triceratops is easily recognized by its distinctive trio of horns and, of course, its parrot like beak. And we mustn't forget the solid neck frill which provided with its uh, fortification against giant predators. Triceratops was quite formidable indeed. In fact, it was one of the very Last night was after extinction. Oh dear! Oh good gracious! Please, please forgive me. I tend to get a bit carried away. Dennis says, you know, if I deepest most profound gratitude. Um, I could be wrong in saying this, but remember hearing that the Triceratops wasn't actually a real dinosaur. So I don't know if that's. Oh my God! None of the bones are actually connected. They're just floating. Ah. Um. <coughs> Ow. <laughs> but I don't know how true this is, but. Okay, I was wondering if I, like, sold the Tyrannosaurus Rex tail for a second, and it's kind of scary. me. But I kind of heard that uh, Triceratops wasn't a real dinosaur. Same with the Apatosaur here, is that, that is what this is called, right? Apato, okay, yes. I believe that wasn't a real dinosaur either, which is insane. It's insane in the man brand. But yes, I'm gonna sell this, sell this crap and get make some inventory space, since we're about to do something a little special, so I shall see you guys in a moment. Look at this bitch flooring! What a bitch flooring! Bitch flooring? Bitch floor. Oh! Whoa! So I was wrong then. Oh. I don't know how much I like that actually. Oh, I'm gonna have to live with it now. It's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> the bridge leads right to the lighthouse. Why can't the lighthouse be down here? Really? That's kind of. Well, it's. It could be worse. It's a little annoying, but I mean. I'm not wanting the most perfect thing in the world, uh, nor should I want uh, the most perfect thing in the world. Anyways, one second. Alright, so before heading out, I'm gonna put my beloved Mario. <laughs> that looks really stupid. But, anyways, I was like, what? Where'd all my things go? But, uh, there they are. Oh, almost a full month. Mm, I think the longest I've ever played in a row, like every day, was probably maybe a month, maybe two months, way like years and years ago. But, yeah, so I pretty much cleared my inventory, I sold a whole bunch of stuff, I put fossils in their place, and mailed stuff, and bones, you scared me! I literally, you kicked the- what an asshole! Should've kicked the ball off the ledge like that! Man, why don't do that? I don't bring you anything to eat, dog. You scurvy dogs with rashers, you know, rashers live in town. If you weren't that close, I'm including a few things you might be interested in knowing. Any tips? Alright, here goes, listen up. Rashers, um, let's see here. I'm awful sorry, my brain's like a wave. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's, uh, it might take a while for me to remember. You should probably find it yourself. Well, isn't that just generic text that people on Animal Crossing Incorporated didn't actually want to give an uh, actual opinion on a character just because it's not true, because, you know, you can't give generic information on someone that isn't true! Or something like that. Anyways, the reason I wanted to clear my inventory so bad was because something's about to happen. Something I promised we would eventually do. And you might have heard that in the background, but... RMAT! So I hooked up my old Game Boy Advance, I got... Oh man, that would have been like... 10, 12 years ago, and it's in pretty rough shape. Ahoy there, matey! Do you care to ride me boat to the island? Yes, I'll cross. <laughs> and I like a bit. So there, matey! What were uh, that island you wanted to visit? Oh crap, I didn't even put any thought to this. God dang it. Um, give me a second here.
We are gonna be going to Zip Zoop. Don't ask, cause I don't even know. Yar, alright then. Put me diggy, ye we sea monkey. So the first time they actually asked me to enter like an island name, I thought you'd be able to go to like a whole bunch of islands, but nope. Shut off, we're bound for Zip Zoop Island! To the briny sea! Now listen to my shanty, you love on us! Yes, yeah, sweet young lads, so full of spunk and sass. Over tea, she tells me I got no class. I ain't no crummy creep who lives in the trash heaps. I'm just one old sea hun who needs some sleep. Yar, I just love youngsters, they're so gullible. What? What's that supposed to mean? Ask yourself this, me boy, what brings your heart away? As for me, well the sea is me own toy. I loves that toy. <laughs> oh, Captain is pretty much the best character ever to have ever been a thing ever. I mean, I don't know what's up, what's up with his head, he looks like a cucumber almost. Actually, that's what I think he's supposed to be. It looks like, that looks like the stem of a cucumber. That looks very painful. It looks like someone puts a sander on his head and like grinded his head down. And what? Green grass? Zip Zip Island Hoi! Well now you were for Bumpy Ride when you say I almost lost me vitals. No, you can turn off your Game Boy Advance if you feel like doing so. Me? I don't give a squid. Yep. So there's actually a glitch that can, can occasionally happen as you're sailing here is that in the screen that's in between the island and um, the mainland you'll sometimes see a giant fish. And when I say giant I mean like almost covering the screen giant and I've never personally seen it however I did see one screenshot many years ago and I never since have been able to find another one but apparently many people have actually experienced this glitch before. And these are coconuts. The only way to get them in this game is by traveling to the island. But yep. So beware of the Wyatt Whale, and I feel like if I ever saw that, I would actually like cry myself to sleep. And there's actually someone living here, which is freaking fantastic. I've never had this. Oh, hey, wow, hello. I've never seen you before, so um, who are you? Oh, Chris, huh? I'm and I'm Anna Lee and Annalise. Annalise, hi. It sure is really nice mm. meeting you, Nipper. Nipper, <laughs> how dare you! I can't do a Hawaiian accent, so I'm not gonna even try. I don't even know if that's a. What a boring ass house! Is there a reason? I feel like if you could give her furniture or something. Hmm. Anyways, there's a second house here, which is interesting, because there's no one living in it. We can see, like, the nameplate Annalise's house, but there's no nameplate on here! Well, if we go inside, we can find it's actually our house! Yay! So it's lit it literally is our house, which is pretty fantastic. Kumo. We have all these nice red Aloha shirts. Uh, I'm gonna stick with a blue one, actually. Wait, there's two different styles, or are these the same shirts? Nope, they're just doubles. Uh, I guess there's four shirts to represent all four characters, because this is actually a shared cabin, as in like um, everyone that plays on this cartilage will share the same place. So it's like pretty much a shared house. It's pretty much how. Ooh, I kind of like that actually. It's pretty much how um <coughs> it works uh, in Animal Crossing Wild World. Actually, I'm gonna keep that shirt and throw these all down here. Keep them here for now, I guess. Why not, right? All right. So that's Min Gingum Gum Gum Gim Gang Gam Gangum style. <laughs> And pretty much there's not much to really do at the island. You could fish. There's no exclusive fish, which is actually kind of a good thing. Because for people that didn't have, like, Game Boy Advance cable that connects to the Wii to your, um, Game Boy, I mean, it would be a, kind of a dick move to put exclusive content on here, which I'm glad Nintendo didn't do. I mean, seriously, man. Seriously. <gasps> oh, I didn't know you could catch... Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could catch bugs here. That's awesome. I caught a color or a clouded yellow butterfly. It's such a cute yellow. So you can't normally catch those till spring. But apparently you can catch them in here. I didn't think you could actually like, catch off season. Mm, that's neat. But yep, we caught a butterfly. I wonder if there's any other bugs we can catch. Let's take a look around and see. There's a fish. I wonder. Let's take a look and see what this fish is. It's probably gonna be some stupid like a sea bass, but why not try right? 
That was easier than I thought. It's a sea bass! It is indeed a sea Of course it is. Ah, whatever. But, yes, so that's pretty much it. We're going to grab a whole bunch of coconuts, mostly because we could actually plant those back on the mainland. Only on the beach, though, so we don't get too excited. And anything we don't plant, we're actually going to sell to Tom Nook. And then butterfly. Butterfly! And, okay, there we go. So, there we go. If you really want to, you can come back here every, like, three days and harvest the coconuts and talk to your islander. However, there's not really much of a point, I would say. Unless you're really into that. Or, the other thing that you could do is, there's actually a minigame you get when you go back on the Game Boy. Yar! Hmm, what's that? You tired of it here already? Do you desire to return to Florida, do you? Yep, I'm leaving. So tell me this, matey. You want to take a record of Zeep Soup Island with you, ye, and your Game Boy Advance? Well, if you do, do, <laughs> if you do, then turn on the power, ye carp brain. And be sure to take her off sleep mode, too. I'll take it. Sure, why not? You guys can actually won't be able to see this. I'm not no Chuck Conroy where I have no I've yet to figure out how we figured out to emulate a Game Boy Advance screen onto his video. I, that confused me like a lot. Well I'll be saving your island to the Game Boy Advance. This is a wee bit technical, so you better mind me close. For instance, if you turn off your Game Boy Advance, you'll be you will lose your save island, so you better be careful. And don't forget to use the old sleep mode if you're gonna keep your Game Boy Advance on long. Well, if you're ready, something. Your has been data. Do not turn off power. Do not disconnect your Game Boy Advance. But yeah, at, um, on his Wind Waker Let's Play, he actually used the Tingle Tuner, which is a Game Boy Advance exclusive thing where you can connect it to your GameCube. And he somehow put that as a mini screen. Like, he somehow put a capture card on his Game Boy Advance. I have no idea how he did that. Uh, there's dances probably out there somewhere. I haven't really looked too far into it. Maybe it's like the. 3DS, where so you have to like literally get someone to install it onto your Game Boy. That seems like a lot of work for nothing, so I don't know. But anyways, on my Game Boy Advance screen, there's literally an Animal Crossing game they can play that actually interacts with this game. So like, if I do anything on there, it'll actually affect the island on this game as well. You had enough, laddie! What, climb aboard? You're just two manly men on a boat we are, are we? So I don't expect to see too much of this place in this year run, unless you get really bored and feel like visiting. But, yo ho ho, and a bottle of cod liver oil, we're off to Florida, yahar, Chris. Prepare for a sea voyage, swab down the decks. Yeah, ye don't get all queasy in the belly, mm. do ye? Enjoy my beautiful singing once again. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so we can interact and all that, and... I wish I could show that, but I don't really know of a way to do that. Oh well. Wrestling dog. Ah, mean old tussling frog. And unsound muscle bound big boxing hog. They're just silly old clowns. I'll take them all down. For I be the best sea turtle around. Ahoy there, Moby Dick. You wanna stop rocking the boat? The sea's in me heart. I don't want it in me pants. You me or feel scavenge pangs from love's wicked fangs. I think oft of the soft song that she sang. That song she sang. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear lord. Okay, so it's kind of hard to describe exactly what's happening, but pretty much on the Game Boy Advance, there's a Game Boy Advance version of your island. It's, a, it's the exact same thing. You can, you can actually interact with things. Like, mm, if you drop a coconut on the ground, you can pick it up, and well, that's really it. Actually, that's not entirely true. You have to get your villager to come out of the house, and then you can get them to shake a tree. Let ho, Frodo, Chris! Don't you put a twinkle in your eye and burp in your belly! Let you got to say, I like the color of your jab. You're looking more like a man and less like a seasick mm. clam. Aw, thank you, I think. But, yep. So, uh, it's kind of hard to <laughs> explain this and play at the same time. However, I have a butterfly too we go, don't I? How beautiful. Beautiful buns. Are we? we got a fuzzle! Mm. Alright, so... On the GameCube, or on the Game Boy, you can tap the villager, and they'll get all shocked, and they'll be like, what the hell is that mysterious noise? Oh, uh, you know what, actually? I think I might have had to knock down coconut. Oh, maybe not. Let's see if it actually works. Yeah. Apparently, 
trade now. Apparently, all I have to do, I would have, what I, what I would have had to do was I had to knock down coconuts, and if I did that, then uh, I would have been able to give them to the the islander, which then would have been able to exchange them for bells, which would have been cool, but nope, not gonna be a thing. So coconuts, I'm pretty sure you can plant them anywhere within the F acres, so nowhere like. Nowhere after F, like you can't plant an E and expect it to grow because it's too hot then. Or it's too cold for them then or something. But yeah, you can plant them anywhere in the F acres, I do believe, unless I'm just lying and, you know, you can't actually plant them there. <laughs> or it, may, uh, it might be on the beach too, I'm not entirely sure to be honest. I'll try right there, just in case. We'll take a safety precaution. But then you can plant them like there, because otherwise it would interfere with the water and it'd be all weird and such. And yeah, we're gonna plant a whole bunch of these and yeah. So yeah. What I honestly might end up doing. I was replacing every single tree in the F acres with a coconut tree, just because I kind of feel like that'd be cool and it'd be like more diversity and such. But uh, well, there we go, we uh, buried all the coconuts we had, so we'll see how many of these actually grow. Hopefully most of them, so we can actually start a farm. And yeah! Okay, so we're gonna give Blathers the yellow butterfly and see what it says. Ah, who? Yes, indeed. It's the yellow butterfly, not really mistaken. No, no, that's not necessary. Please, I must just leave it in this container. Particles say, what? I have to say that I'm not overly fond of insects. Quite simply, do not like touching them. Blech. <coughs> There's an old saying among some of the contemporaries butterflies are beautiful, yet more so monstrous. Well, if you would ask me, I'd say they're all the same, by which I mean disgusting! Truly horrific! What what? Who? Hey, but I digress. <laughs> horrific. I guess it's because he's an owl and owl say <laughs> Oh jeez. Uh, Nintendo. Why do I play your games? I, I quit. I'm never buying a Nintendo game ever. It's a beautiful butterfly and he has free range. Not unlike the other bugs in here that I could find. Because the honeybees could find to that tree permanently. You think he's just there because he's happy? No, they super glued him there. He's not even alive. They're just putting electrical shocks on him to make him move around and such. <laughs> Really? Again? Every freaking day it's this money rock. It's the money rock's the same thing. It doesn't ever change. It's this freaking money rock. It's always the freaking money rock. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna call an episode there. But first of all, one of the first thing I was mentioning in this episode is how the Groundhog Day event starts at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Well, that's not entirely true. The actual event doesn't actually start till 9. So and everything between 7 and 9, it'll be the exact same thing. So hold on. So it says drop by the wishing well at 7 a.m. So yeah, I actually don't have to be there to like I'm probably not gonna even wake up till like 8:30 and then rush over there and then see the before the before the event and then during the event and after the event. And I also gotta do the duty. <laughs> I <was> gonna <laughs> also gotta do the KK tomorrow since he's coming by. Um, so there's actually a maximum of 15 entries you can have on the nose board. So after that, and the beginning ones start getting deleted. So. And after that, enjoy these starting to get deleted, including my beautiful thing. Is there a Oh, this is, oh, this is the, uh, uh, the the Happy Room Academy. So I wonder, if this is this is probably the points we want to aim for: ten thousand, twenty thousand, and seventy thousand. How very odd. Come, Nux, we'll suffer my horned Viking Helm's wrath. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Anyways, it's almost Valentine's Day. Don't forget to clean out your mailbox. So there's lots of room for cards from your special sweetie or sweeties. Postman Pete. Yep. So that'll eventually happen. Look at me swirl around my control stick. Yeah. Anyways, that's all for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're not ready. My name is Chris, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's all for watching day 25, I think? Or is it 26? Uh, no. Oh. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Reese's Pieces.